to a story you will only see here on Local 12. A sweet thief makes off with thousands of dollars worth of equipment from a small business. Christian Hauser shows us how this is crippling for a couple running an old-fashioned kettle corn stand. Police here in St. Bernard are investigating after thousands of dollars worth of cooking equipment were stolen. Now the couple you're about to meet is continuing a family business of making kettle corn, but after being targeted by thieves, they want to warn other businesses to be on the lookout and make sure that they're doing everything they can to keep their equipment safe and secure. Stacy Vosters and Greg Muller are getting ready to celebrate two years offering fresh pop kettle corn to the tri-state. It's an old style, like I said, the kettle's from the 1800s. It's uh, German immigrants would have actually done this and brought this over uh, to the Americas when they came. Um, and so it's just popcorn, which is a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt, and it's really light and just a very tasty treat. To make that tasty treat, they need this giant copper kettle. They kept all their equipment in a locked trailer in a facility with a barbed wire fence and cameras. But when Greg went to pick up the trailer for this weekend, he found someone had broken in. First thing that I noticed what was going was the copper kettle. Uh, I later then looked in more thoroughly and found that the sink was gone along with the 40 pound propane tanks, which are hard to come by. He then called police and Stacy and says, Hey, like, I don't think we're actually going to be making popcorn tonight. Um, all of our equipment is gone. That kettle was the showpiece of the operation. Those thieves make it a few hundred dollars for it, but Stacy says it's going to take anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars to replace everything that was taken. And that's why they're urging all business owners to make sure they're doing everything they can to protect their property. Now, luckily, with the help of family, friends, and the community, Stacy and Greg are up and running again. The couple says scrapyards have been warned to be on the lookout for their equipment, and they've also found a new, more secure spot to store the trailer and all the kettle corn making supplies. In St. Bernard, I'm Christian Hauser. The police have evidence and there is hope that a fingerprint might be found that matches someone in the system. If you have information, give the St. Bernard police a call.